In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your sequence from Avid Media Composer to DaVinci Resolve for grading. Let's be better editors together. I'm in Avid. I have this sequence that I've been editing on for a few days. It's my final edit master and it has a few zoom in to the image because the image is 4K and this is only a HD project. So I can do the zoom without losing any quality at all. And all these clips in my sequence are all converted in DaVinci Resolve from the original camera material. So it should be easy to link it back to the original camera files in the best quality possible in DaVinci Resolve for grading. These files have all been converted in DaVinci Resolve for a few different reasons, but you could also do your transcode in Avid. The reason why I decided to do it in DaVinci Resolve, it's actually a bit faster to do it in DaVinci because DaVinci uses the CPUs, all the computer power, while Media Composer uses the graphic card. So depending on what kind of graphic card you got, the times may vary. In my case, it's definitely quicker to do my transcoding in DaVinci Resolve compared to doing it in Avid. If you'd like to know how I did the transcoding in DaVinci Resolve, a link to the video will be on screen now. Moving on. So I have all these files. There's a few zoom ins because I'm working on a HD project and I can definitely zoom a bit more into it if I wanted to because this is 4K material. But it's a pretty basic sequence. The way to do your uh, export to DaVinci Resolve for color grading and finishing is to make an AAF file to export my AAF to DaVinci Resolve. I'll right click in the composer window, hit export. And now my export window opens. I already made a preset, but I'm gonna hit option so you can see what my presets are. The only thing we're gonna be exporting is the information, my editing information from Avid to DaVinci Resolve. And that's why I'm only including video files and tracks in the sequence. I'm not gonna include audio details at all. I'm gonna make sure it links to the media because we only need the information. We don't need the actual media that was used for this because we're gonna be linking or relinking to the original camera media. I'm gonna turn this off. Usually I use this to make a file for Pro Tools when I'm doing my sound export for Pro Tools. Hit save and then hit save again. Every time you make an export of a sequence, Avid will make a copy of it. So basically it's just a copy of my original sequence. When you double click on it, you can see what it has done. It's only exported the video files in my sequence and removed all the audio files. And this is perfect when you want to do your grading in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to go back to my final edit master. So you can see all the tracks that were in the original master. Now that I've exported my AAF file, I'll go in and export a reference file so I'm sure that my effects, my zoom-ins to these two clips, tag along into DaVinci Resolve. And the way to do a reference file is just to make an export as a MP4 or movie. It doesn't matter which format you use. I'm gonna hit export. And I already have a setup here, but I'll just hit options so you can see what my settings are. I checked all the first three ones and I haven't changed much here in the setting of the quality. I've chosen to use the same frame rate as the project is. And if you'd like to know exactly which settings I've done in my export settings, I'll leave a screenshot of it so you can see how I've done my export. Hit save and I'm going to hit save again. I don't need to change the name and I'm just going to save it onto the desktop so I can easily find it again. Hit save and it's starting to export my file. Just going to go up to the desktop. It seems like the whole video is here. I'm in DaVinci Resolve. I'm in my original project that I made for transcoding files to the Avid Media Composer. I'll make a new bin. I'll call this 2Grade from Avid. 
you can call it whatever you want, conform or whatever suits your workflow. The next step is to right click in your bin, hit timeline, say importing and choose FF. I exported my AAF onto the desktop to make sure I could easily find it. Hit import. These settings are quite important to set right the first time you do the import. And I'll leave screen dumps of all the settings that I've been using in this video below. So you can have it as a checklist when you do your own exporting and importing. We're going to turn this one off because we don't want it to import the source media from the Avid Media Composer because those are low res proxy files and we want to work with the high res camera files. So I'm going to go down here and say link to source camera files. And the other one I'm going to use in this case is use sizing information. And the reason why I'm going to turn this one on, it's because I wanted to do some digital zoom ins on a couple of clips in Avid. So I'm going to leave that on. If you haven't done any resizing in your clips, you can leave it off. But in my case, I'll leave it on. Say OK. And now it's going to ask me where to look for the original media that we imported to DaVinci Resolve in an earlier video uh, to transcode it to Avid Media Composer. I'm just going to let them all be checked on. So it will search all my bins in my transcode to Avid project. Say OK. And now it has made a timeline called Final Edit Master, which is the same name as I called my Avid Final Master. It'll link back to the original camera media, which is perfect. And in this clip, you can actually see it copied my effect, my resizing effect, where I zoom into the picture and all the other edits are in here. I'm just going to go back to the media pool and I'm going to find my reference file that's on the desktop and I'm going to right click it and I'm not going to import it. I'm actually going to make sure that the Vinci Resolve will see it as a reference file. So I'm going to say add as offline reference file. Click on it and it's added my reference file to my grade bin from Avid. So what I do is I go to my timeline, right click on it, timelines, and then I'm going to say link offline reference clip. And I'm going to choose my final edit master MP4 reference file. And DaVinci Resolve has linked these two files together, my timeline and my reference file, but you really can't see it here. So I'm going to go into my edit mode. In my edit mode, if it doesn't show up here in my player window, I'm going to go down and choose offline and it will actually show my reference file here. It will call it offline final master mp4 and it's ganging my reference file with my timeline. And as you can see, it perfectly copied all the information about my zoom here. So the next step is to color grade all my clips. And once my clips are color graded, I can go into deliver. And my workflow is that I will actually take the graded files back to the Avid Media Composer and I'll use the Avid Media Composer to compile my final sequence with the graded clips from here and with the sound files or stems that I will get from the Pro Tools engineer. If you want to see how I do the re-export back to Avid Media Composer, after doing my grades here in DaVinci Resolve and how I compile the sound files from Pro Tools, please watch the next video. If you have any problems with doing your exports or if you have different problems with Avid or DaVinci Resolve, please write it in the comments and I'll help you out. If you'd like to know more about how I transcoded my files in DaVinci Resolve, please watch the video on the screen. If you'd like to see the settings that I've been using in this video, just look at the links below.